A very good morning to everybody. It's sunshine. It's the first day of the circuit breaker. But what are you going to do at home for this entire month? Well, do log on to our online classes by People Association. You can actually check it out on um, different community communities clubs uh, Facebook page, or you can go to MGS Wanted to watch the repeat telecast, the repeat uh, live on the Facebook page itself. Like for example, we have language class, we have yoga, we have aerobics, we have um, Japanese language, Korean language, and many, many, many more. So you can actually go uh, go to the individual community clubs Facebook page and watch the live telecast to learn something new when you are at home serving this uh, CCB. Okay, 各位朋友非常欢迎大家来参与今天早上又是运动时间了这个就是我们的瑜伽今天我们将会做阴阳瑜伽那告诉大家如果你要看重播的话你都可以到任何的就是指定的民众俱乐部的Facebook page去观看就可以了 那今天呢我们将会和榜额民众俱乐部 Facebook page的朋友们呢 在线的朋友们呢一起做阴阳瑜伽我们现在就隆重的介绍我们的导师 Hello everyone I'm very happy to be invited to do this live stream To share my practice with everyone at home Correct, because especially at, uh, in this pandemic period, right, we really need to improve yes. our, uh, inc- uh, uh, enhance our immune systems. Correct. So what what does Yin Yang Yoga means? Uh, yin Yang Yin is. Ah, uh, uh, I know, I know. Is it <laughs> men and uh, where men and women are? So oh, we yin, have to do together. Yeah. <laughs> is it men and no, women? No, it's the energy in your body. Ah. Yeah. So it's a uh, Yin is uh, the. Uh, feminine side and the uh, yang is the masculine side so uh-huh. it's it's actually yin yang is uh, very similar to hatha the word hatha yoga yes, the yes. ancient uh, yeah. hatha which is ha is the sun and then ta is the moon so uh, yin is the moon and, and yang, yang is, is the sun. sun so we practice yin yang to balance the flow of energy in our body so that we allow our qi to flow our sec- circulation to flow 刚才导师所说的呢，阴阳瑜伽呢可以让你呢促进血液循环。那当然呢，都会帮你提高自己的免疫力的哦。So what are the what are, are any other benefits of yin yang yoga? Um, yin yin actually is like a more grounded. It mm-hmm. allows you to slow down. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, nowadays you know the world is very fast paced, very young energy. Yeah. So yin actually bring you down to more grounded, more down to earth. And also in uh, g- gives you a lot of benefits like circulation, especially circulating around your joints, your mm. fascia, mm. Yeah, your tendons. Yeah. Mm. 所以呢，导师说我们这个社会呢，都是非非非常非常非常的繁忙的。所以呢，如果呃你可以的话，就做阴阳瑜瑜伽呢，来把你的心情给定下来。那呃，这个瑜伽除了可以血液循环之外呢
So we are going to begin with settling down, sitting in meditation. Just a short one to connect to your body. Placing your hands on your thighs. Your palm can face up or face down. Roll your shoulder back. And allow your chin to be neutral. Spine long and tall. Good, and from there, your face is facing forward. Gently close your eyes. So the minute you close your eyes, tune into your body. Your inhale, your exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, and you exhale. Gently open your eyes changed our crossing. So we always like to change side to balance our body. Changing your legs. And again, make sure that you're set tall, your spine long and straight, placing your hands back to your thighs. We will begin with breathing practice. So we are going to do breathing on the left side of your nostril, breathing onto your right side of your nostril to start to create the yin yang energy in our body. Raising your so I'll be your mirror image. So I'll be using my right hand, but you'll be using your left hand. Okay, good. Uh, right. Raising your right hand up, covering your nostril. Good. So you can use your thumb, you cover, or you can use your index finger. Keeping your arms close to your body. Together we inhale. You'll be inhaling on your right. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, three more times, inhale, exhale slow, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and you exhale. Here, notice your left nostril, right? Good, and let go of your hands. Now you cover other side. Good, keep your arms close to you. Together you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, three more. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And you exhale. Putting your hands back to your thighs. Now you observe both sides of the nostril. Just close your eyes simply to observe. Connecting to the breath. Connecting to your energy. So when you practice throughout, you're with your breath. Good, now you gently open your eyes. Good, and we're going to begin with some stretching before we do the yang sequence, followed by the yin sequence. But because of time constraint, this yin sequence will be uh, less holding, but you're at home. Anytime when you practice your in sequence, a little longer in your holding will be more beneficial for your whole body. Okay, now we will begin our stretching. Change the crossing of our legs again. And again, make sure you sit tall, spine long and tall, creating space. Broaden your chest. Stretching your hands by your side. Inhale, stretch it up, up, lengthen up. Interlocking your fingers. Turning your palm to face up. Feel the center of your palm pushing up to the ceiling. Up, up. Squeeze your elbow straight if you can. Inhale, length. And you look up. You look forward. You exhale, letting go. Now you put your right hand onto your left thighs. Left hand on the floor behind you. Inhale. Exhale, you twist. Twist. 
Good, coming back, inhale. Exhale, you twist other side. Inhale, coming up, stretching up. Again, we interlock our fingers. This time, you may want to change about in your interlocking. Just so maybe your right hand was in front. Now your left hand, turning your palm to face up. Stretch up, up, squeeze your elbows straight. Bring your arms more to behind you. Good, and once again, lift your chin, stretch your neck. Looking up, inhale, stretch it up. Push your palm up to the ceiling. Good, and exhale, you look forward. Lowering your hands down again, squeeze again towards your side. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, twist over, just chin side. Doesn't matter if you're not following which side. Inhale, stretching up, breathe. And you exhale. Now we let go of our hands towards the ground. I'm doing the right side, palm facing down, and you stretch over. Good, so your right palm, push the floor. Your left sit bone, you push it down and you stretch, reach, reach, like you're reaching towards your side. Inhale, you come up, both hands up. Exhale, other side. So you stretch, stretch, keeping your sit bone, your thighs to the ground. Do not lift them, lifting up. Lifting your arms towards the side to stretch your side body. And you inhale, you come all the way up. Both hands stretch up. Very gently spreading your arms to the side and to behind you. Lean your body back. Good, and now you let go of your legs. Stretch out your legs, letting go. Separate your legs apart and we tap our legs. So you relax the back of your thighs, back of your knees, back of your joint. Good, point your toes. Flex your feet. Pointing, flexing, and we do rotation. So don't forget, if you're not following which side, you can always just do reverse after that. Reverse your rotation. Good, and now we are going to cross our legs and then we are coming to our old fours. So cross your legs, move to the middle of your mat. Good, and those who got sensitive knee, if you like, you can put a towel to support your knee, right? So you can place towel. Good, and placing your knees, separating your knees apart to about hip width distance. Curl your toes under. So your ankle apart, equal distance as your knee joints, right? Putting your palm on top of the mat, spread out your fingers. So you want to carefully spread them out. Wrist creases, they are under your shoulder. Knee to your wrist, about your body length. Good. So it's a, it's a good space for you to stretch. Now, can you melt your belly towards the ground, soften your belly. Allow your tailbone to stick up to the ceiling. Taking the head of your arm bones back, lift up your chest, press your palm, lift your chest. And carefully inhale, you lift your chin, stretch your back, arch them. Now, we are going to rouse, so you need to scoop your tailbone under, Pull your belly in, round your back, curl your back even more, drop your hip. Maybe you're looking towards your belly, maybe you're looking to your thighs. And now we move. Inhale, arch, cow stretch, looking up. And exhale, you round, cat stretch. Inhale. Exhale, warm up your spine. Inhale again. And you exhale. 
back and now can you keep your spine neutral and curl your toes and sit your buttocks to your heel and also find uh, that it's not comfortable to sit your buttocks to your heel another way will be using the block or tower to sit back you can always do this okay good and now you can stretch your hands forward circle your wrist circle that yes relax your wrist creases and other way good and now we'll come to our child pose okay so from the child pose we are moving in a sequence to warm up our body first we rest first we allow our belly to sink to our thighs and then our hands we put by our side put your forehead towards the ground a relaxing child pose so if those who feel that if you're relaxing in your child pose your forehead cannot touch the ground you put a block under your forehead good and from here we are going to move looking forward so if you have a block power you just release them right good and you're going to stretch your hands forward placing your finger pad onto the ground inch your fingers forward so from your hip creases you stretch it down towards your heel stretch your side body and stretch your finger pad forward lengthen forward forward and keeping your buttocks close to your heel as much as you can so feel your side body stretch good and now you place your palm on the mat press it down we try not to move our palm we try not to move our shin to our toes as you inhale you come forward your hands are wide enough to put your chest in between good and from here a soft baby cobra push onto your palm back to your child pose so we're going to move the same way four more sets inhale go forward exhale soft as you lower down baby cobra you inhale child pose again good make sure that you breathe inhale come forward exhale you lower down inhale baby cobra Exhale, child pose. Good. Again, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Warm up your spine. Inhale, warm up your shoulder. Curl back. Child pose. Last one. Inhale. Lower down. Again, coming up, child pose. This round, we'll stay in our child pose, relaxing child pose. Place your hands behind you and you just rest your forehead. You can turn your face to one side or your face down and continue to breathe. Good, stay there. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Now next round, we are going to flow more uh, dynamic way, which is we are going to incorporate downward facing dog and plank. So together we stretch our hands forward. Good, and now we are going first round, we'll do slower so that everyone understand what the movement is, okay? So you're going to spread your palm, spread out your fingers, Take the head of your arm bones back. Squeeze your arms through it. So you're placing your hands there. Watch it. Good. And now you come back to your all fours. All fours. Coming up. Palm pressing down. Curl your toes under. Good. So your arms will be straight in a downward facing dog. But your legs you can bend it if your spine is not straight so just watch the first round if you're not sure 
So standing onto your toes, press your palm, straight arms. Good, and you lift your knees. Send your tailbone up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling. Melt your chest to the ground. Those who feel that your spine is rounding, you bend your knees. But if you feel that your spine is feeling good, it's stretched, you can straighten your legs. Tight hamstring, you can also bend your knees. So it's not a must to straighten your leg in downward facing dog. Now from here, stay, breathe. We're going to measure our downward dog. We will come forward to a plank. So you're going to move forward. So you see the length is not long enough. You can walk your toes back. Until your toes are under your heel and your wrist under your shoulder. Good, so this will be a good length. From here, we lower our knees back to the ground. We lower our chest, chin, caterpillar. And from here, using your palm to push the ground, bring your body forward. Straighten your legs. Make sure that you stretch them. Stretch your toes. Press your tailbone to the ground. Press your palm. Wrist, if possible, walk under your elbow. And completely press your whole palm down. Roll your shoulder back. Elbow point to the back of the room. Cobra. Coming up. Roll your shoulder away. Good. And let your heart shine forward. Let your heart shine up to the ceiling if possible. Lift your chin, your cobra. Good, and lower your chest down. Curling your toes under. Push back to on your knee. Good, and downward facing dog. Good, and you breathe. So we are going to flow this sequence five rounds. Those who find it challenging, Go back to the first option that we did earlier with the child pose. Now, you're staying in your downward dog. You take deep inhale. Long exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. We begin to flow. Inhale, come forward. Plank. Exhale, lower your knees. Control them. Chest and chin. Caterpillar. Cobra, you inhale. Downward dog, you exhale. Breathe. Three more rounds only. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and we got one more. Inhale to plank, exhale, caterpillar. Inhale to cobra, exhale to downward dog. Nice. And from here, we pedal our legs, bending one knee, straighten the other leg. Press the leg that is straight, heel to the ground, stretch your legs. And then you chain side. Chain side. Chain side. Good. Now we join our legs together, big toes touch. Have a look. Look at your toes. Are they touching? And your heel is high, buttocks is high. Now we lift our right leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. And you breathe. Reach it higher, higher, and now you look in between your palm. Big step, right foot forward. Stand on your finger pad. Check that your knee, they are on top of your ankle. Good, and from here, your fingers are by your side. You look forward. Lower your knees to the ground. And if you can, you put a, if you need, you put a towel under. So you can place a tower. Good. And knees on the ground. Placing your hands on your thighs, you come up. Low crescent lunge. So 
those who find that it's challenging, just put your hands on your thighs. Or if you have a block, you can put a block by your side. Good. And you place that. Support yourself. So at all times, always listen to your body, do what you can. Here, stretch your hands forward. Your palm face each other. Pull your arm bone to the socket. Stretch your hands up. Moving your hands behind your ear if possible. Upper body stretch up, up. Inhale, you look up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Good, breathe. Lifting your left knee off the floor. Your left palm continue to place down or on your finger pad. These two blocks, you can put it one side. Put your right hand on your thighs. Look forward. So your left heel to your crown. Maintain the stretch. Placing your right palm to press your thigh. Lift your chest. Lift your chest. Turn your chest towards your right. And you stretch your hands up. The hands that's on your thighs, you stretch up. Breathe. If you can, your gaze is towards your thumb that is stretched up. Reaching up. One inhale. Bring your hands more to behind you. Open up. So you want your chest to shine up to the ceiling. Very good. Put your hands back to the ground. Lower your left knee. Good. And catch your breath again. Breathe. Breathe. Putting your palm down and we get ready. We are coming back to our downward dog. Lifting your knees back up. Downward facing dog. And you paddle your legs. And we are good to flow. Those who are tired, just do your chow pose. Those who are good, flow with me. Inhale, plank. Knee, chest, chin. Cobra. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Paddle your legs again. Joining your big toes together. Moving on to the other side. Left leg up. Stretch it high. High. Separate your legs apart from each other. Look forward. Step to the top of the mat. Good. And check your knee on top of your ankle again. Lower your knee to the ground. Again, you can put a towel if you need. Good. And slowly put your hands on your thighs. You come all the way up. Your tailbone is pointing down. Your belly is away from your thighs. Sitting low if possible. Reach. Roll your shoulder back, reach your hands to the ground. You can take the block like earlier. Okay, and now you stretch your hands forward. Arm bone to the socket. Inhale, you reach up, up, lengthen up. You can do options of hooking your thumb or stretching your hands up or palm together your choice. As you inhale, your buttocks send it towards the ground. Stretch your hip creases by your upper body stretch up. Those who like can move to more to a back bend. Coming back, hands to the ground. Put your hands onto the ground. Lift your right knee. So the palm, right palm, will be placing onto the ground. Left hand on your thighs. Push it down. So on your finger pad, on the palm, or on the block, your choice. Lengthen forward first. Those who feel tired, you can always lower this left, this knee to the ground. Don't worry about that. Good. And look forward. Breathe. Push, pushing your left thighs down. Lift your chest. Twist. Stretch your hands up. Keep breathing. Inhale, length. Lengthen up. Open up. Open up as much as you can. Let your heart shine and up to the ceiling. Slowly come all the way back down. Remove whatever support you have. Good. And now put your palm, lower your knee, rest for a while. 
Good, and downward facing dog. Good, and you pedal your legs, pedal your legs. Those who like child pose is good. And those who want, you can flow with your sequence, knee, chest, chin, cobra, and downward dog, right? Good, so everyone will come to your child pose. Child pose, and we rest for a while. Put your hands behind you. And lower your forehead towards the ground. Breathe. Good. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So we have completed the yang sequence. We are coming, moving to ing sequence. So in ing sequence, what you need is a lot of patience. A lot of courage to hold the posture. Good. From here, we're going to lie on our belly. So you lie forward, belly on the ground. We begin with shoulder stretch. So some may need a block, some maybe no need, or maybe you may need a tower. Okay. Good. So we are lying on our tummy, and we are stretching our left hand out. So your left hand is stretched out and you're looking at your hand, it's about the height of your shoulder joint. If you have hyperextended arms, I suggest your palm to face up. This will give you less strain on your elbow joint. Good. For me, I like to put my palm facing up. So, but you can also face it down. Okay. Good. So your other hand will be doing like a cobra position. You're going to flip yourself over. So the palm that is on your side, the same side, your leg will bend and flip over. Flip over. Good. So you can, your leg that is flipped over, you stand on your toes. Good. So your block can be under your face to support your neck. Good. And from here, you breathe. Breathe. Do not strain yourself. Good. So anytime, get out of posture if it's too much for you. Good. Those who can go further, you stretch the hand in front of you up to the ceiling. The hand that is in front of you, stretch up to the ceiling. And allow your palm to face behind you. Face behind you. Turn your palm to face the back. And your hands reach towards the hand that is on the ground, which is the hand that is stretched out. And you breathe. You breathe. So just hold there. In postures. Invite a lot of relaxation. So stay there. Invite your breath to be smooth, to be soft. Soft inhale, just stay here. Breathe. So you can use a block to support your head. You can turn your palm, roll your shoulder back. If it's too much for you, you can bend your elbow, bend, and rest your hands behind you. So more important is to create this opening here. And you breathe. This leg which is supported, your knee is facing up. Keep breathing. This is good for you, just hold there. To invite relaxation, don't forget. Allowing your joints to be circulating, fascia to be working. Those who feel that you're good, you can bend the other knee even. Good. And you lift your chin to stretch your neck. Breathe. Breathe. Hold there as much as you can. Good. I know it's a lot on the shoulder, right? But it's really good stretch. I like this stretch a lot. Good, and now we're going to slowly release. Good, release your hand. Stretch out your, bring your leg back. Face your belly to the ground, back to the ground. Good, and put your hands by your side. And turn your face other way. Other way. So, earlier if you turn your face to your left while holding the posture, you turn your face to the right this time. Good, and now we rebound. After the rebound, we change sides. So now, change your side. You're putting your other hand stretch out. 
shoulder and wrist align. Whether your palm face up, face down, your choice. You can take the block support. Good. And you use your palm to allow yourself to be supported. Flip the other leg over. Good. And if you feel that you are, you want to align your body, your body is allowing you to do it, you can shift your hip more in. More in. Good. And now you get ready to slowly move deeper. After doing one side, you know what is coming, you go to the stretch. You can bend this knee, you can shift your buttocks, or you can drop your knees one side. So create stretch. And after you feel what you can do, you hold there, you breathe. You can close your eyes. Don't forget, inviting relaxation is the main focus of Ing to allow your body to relax as much as you can. Do not fight the posture. You breathe. 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 Closing your eyes is good to channel your mind to your body, to channel your mind to your breath. Good, and now, as I said, if you're at home practicing, you can hold the posture longer. This is a very good stretch in opening the front of your body, the shoulder joint. We are ready to come back. Slowly, slowly release your legs, release your hands, and come to your rebound. Back to belly onto the ground, hands by your side. Turn your face other side. Close your eyes to connect to you how your body is feeling. So especially the part that is stretch, stretch, connect to it, feel it. The sensation of the stretch. Good, and now you place your chin back to the ground. Put your palm beside your chest and prop yourself up. Come to this forearm cobra position. So your elbow will be under your shoulder. All right, press your palm. So we do a bit of stretch on your back here. Good, release some tension. Stretch your legs, roll your shoulder away. Good, and you lift your chin. Close your eyes. Breathe. Breathe. Gently open your eyes. Very slowly, we are pushing ourselves back to sitting position. So you put your palm beside your chest, push yourself to sit up, and we are going to face forward, face forward, shifting your palms to the ground, stretch your legs out, shake your legs, okay. tap your legs. We come to our butterfly, so this round we are going to stretch our hip here. Bending your knees, come to your butterfly. So be mindful, those who have any uh, sensation on your hip, discomfort, lower back or knee joints, you adjust accordingly. If your knee is, if your heel is close to your hip, some if you uh, sensation on your knee, you walk away, right? So depending on how your body is, what your body is telling you. Good. And now you lengthen up. Lengthen up. Good. Move your knee up, down, up, down. Before we begin the white leg forward bend. Good. And now we're ready. Putting your hands at the inside of your thighs. Stretch your legs out. The other leg. Too much for your knee. You can always put block under or tower under. But for this kind of posture, you will need two towers. Okay, so more balance. Right. So if you do not feel, need anything, you can just straighten your legs. Good. And make sure that your spine is long and tall. We don't want a postures that we are uh, hurting our back. You need to feel really, really relaxed. Good. And now, putting your hands in front of you, we slowly walk our hands forward. So some maybe just here, 
you can stack up your block or tower good and you allow your forehead to be here hands can be anywhere or on the ground right and you breathe or those who don't have anything with you if your elbow can touch the ground you can support your hands on your chin or if you feel good today you can stretch your hands forward belly to the ground chin to the ground or forehead to the ground so depending on how your body feels good and allow the sensation of stretch closing your eyes breathe breathe so you can put your hands here yes good and just stay there breathe breathe couple more breath good and last part we will go to our side stretch slowly you look forward walk back walk back good now we bend our right knee please our heel towards us good and allow your body your left butt cheek to be on the ground right butt cheek to be on the ground whichever side you're doing okay so some may be a bit confused right side left side just make sure that you do both sides okay good now we're going to put our hands on our thighs lower your elbow lower your side body to the leg that is stretched out so you can take the block put the block can change the height whichever suit you and this hand can be holding on to your face and this hand can be just resting on your back and you breathe so allow your neck to be soft soft breathe good all those who want to go further you can rest your elbow rest onto the ground this hand can stretch over and you look up so whichever you feel good what you want is to stretch the side of your body good and you breathe closing your eyes good keep breathing don't forget to smile as you are holding good enjoying your stretch not forcing your body anytime get off the posture if there is any discomfort or sharp pain okay and now we slowly come all the way back up and we change side good so you bring this left leg back and stretch your right leg out good bring your heel towards you sit at tall good and now other side go to your stretch good so give yourself time our body need time to slowly ease into the pose so in the beginning you may feel okay it feels really tight really discomfort you need to allow your body allow it to stretch again you close your eyes breathe breathe so you are stretching your side body observe that part of your body that is stretching connect to it so in every poses that you did and what you're doing always observe connect to your body rather than go through the motion right so you want to be able to enjoy good and now you slowly come all the way back up bending this knee again we come back to our butterfly good and again you move your knee up down up down Good. and now we are getting ready to warm down our body warm down our stretching and the final relaxation okay good so we are going to bring our knees together and slowly turn to one side lie on your back so move your body to lie all the way down good bending your knees Bring your knees to your chest, hug your legs, good, and you breathe, breathe. So you're hugging your legs gently, do not hug tight, move your hip left, right, left, right. 
left, right, left, right. Come back to centre. We spread our hands out to the side about shoulder height. Slowly lower both your knees to one side. Don't forget, any side will do because we always do both sides, right? And then go to the other side. So if your knee cannot touch the ground, it is okay. We are doing a gentle twist. And those who feel that you got the support, you can put your block under your thighs to support. Coming back, one more round only to one side. Other side. Slowly coming back, landing your feet to the ground. We want to separate our feet to meet with distance. Knees still bent. So we do the windshield wiper before we relax. Bend your knee, feet onto the ground, knee point up. Separate your feet as wide as the mat. And your hands are still shoulder width. Dropping your knees over to the left, to the right. This will create some release on your hip creases here. To the left, to the right. One more, left. Right and center. Now we are good. We slowly stretch out our legs. Okay, so when you stretch out your legs, your legs are met with distance. That means it's like wider than your shoulder. Okay, and let your little toe fall out to the side. Let your shoulder root to the ground. Your hands stretch out, maybe about 45 degrees away from your body. Palm face up, fingers are soft and curling. Chin neutral here. Breathe. Good. And from here, you can close your eyes. We come to our final relaxation, which many of my students, they, are, they always look forward to this last part. Some, if you feel that your neck, you like support, you can put block. Good. And from there, close your eyes. Relax your toes your feet, ankles, relax your shin, knee joints, front and back of your thighs, relax your pelvis, your hip, entire legs feel relaxed. Moving up to the, your upper body, Relaxing your belly, your chest, relaxing your shoulders, your arms, relaxing your spine, lower back, mid back, upper back, relaxing your neck, entire facial muscles. Relax your jaw. Let both your ears sink to the ground. They are warm. They are soft. Your whole scalp is relaxed. Entire head relaxed. Surrender to your relaxation. Relaxation is an important part of our whole practice, allowing our body to recharge, to relax, and to rejuvenate. While at home, your relaxation can be longer, but for here, we're going to wake up our body, awareness back to our body, Wriggle your fingers, your toes. Good, and join your big toes together, join your legs. We stretch our hands to behind. Lengthen our spine, give your body a long, long, good stretch. Stretch your hands behind you. Legs together, stretch. You stretch. Good, and now place your palm towards your heart. 
Good. And slowly bend your knees. Turn your body to whichever side. Using your palm to slowly push yourself to sit up. Good. And sitting up, we cross our legs. We'll do the closing here. Sit tall. Lengthen up. Join your palm to your heart center. Bow towards your heart. Close your eyes for a moment to connect to yourself. Thanking yourself for your effort on the mat today. Observing how your body is feeling. Good. And you want to tell yourself, remind yourself to feel good. Feel good throughout the rest of today. And try feeling good throughout this time. Especially in this time that we have to be homebound for the whole month. Allow our heart to be open. To receive whatever that is coming with grace. With optimistic. Good. And now gently you look forward. We take an inhale. Exhale, lower your arms. Inhale, stretch both ends up. Palm together, you look up. Exhale, palm to your heart. Two more like that. Lower your hands. Inhale, stretch up. Looking up. Exhale, palm to your heart. Last one. Inhale. And you exhale. Good, and may peace be with all of you. I thank you for joining me in the practice and wishing everyone well. Good, thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank well, you. do remember if you want to watch the playback, all right, watch the playback, you can actually log on to Pongo Community Club and catch Cassandra for this Yin Yang, uh, yin yang Yoga. Now, if you want to watch this again, you can go to Facebook page